The digestive system is an amazing thing, and we need it to work well for our bodies to be healthy and grow. But what if your digestive system isn't working as well as it should? For example, if you're experiencing pain or bloating in your stomach after eating, or if it feels like food's getting stuck in your chest, or if you're having trouble using the bathroom, you might need an esophagogastroduodenoscopy, also called an EGD or upper endoscopy. I'm Joe Woolley, a pediatric gastroenterologist here at Phoenix Children's. In other words, a digestive system specialist for kids and teens. I focus on treating the digestive tract, but in order to treat an illness, I need to identify the problem. The EGD procedure is a safe, low-risk method that helps doctors like me search for clues as to what's causing trouble in your digestive tract. Before having the procedure, there are some important steps that you'll need to follow. These include restricting medicines and certain kinds of foods and drinks for up to three days before the procedure. A few days before the procedure, a nurse will call you with specific directions regarding your procedure. You can also find details of what you can and cannot consume on the Phoenix Children's website in the gastroenterology and GI surgery section. In this procedure, a long, flexible tube called an endoscope is inserted into your mouth, past the stomach, and into the top part of your small intestine. The endoscope has a small camera attached to the end of it so that we can actually see the inside of your digestive tract. During the procedure, we're going to remove tiny bits of tissue, as small as a pin tip. This is called a biopsy and can help us learn whether your symptoms are due to things like allergies, inflammation, or infection. This may all seem a bit scary to you, but the procedure isn't painful. You'll be given medicine through an IV to help you fall asleep. Usually, the entire procedure only lasts around 10 minutes and the test results are available within two weeks. When your procedure's done, you're gonna be taken to a recovery area where you'll wake up. Meanwhile, your GI doctor will meet with your parents or guardian to show them images from the procedure and update them on any findings. Next, they'll be taken to the recovery area to be with you. One thing that we ask is that you wait until you get home before eating a large meal, because the medicine that's used during the EGD procedure can make you dizzy and make it easier to get car sick. Also, don't schedule any physical activities for the day of the procedure because it can make you a little bit off balance. It's best to just stay home and relax. Generally speaking, endoscopy is very safe and well tolerated. And although it's very rare, the procedure does have the possible risk of things like infection, bleeding, abdominal pain, a tear in the intestine, or even a complication with anesthesia. But don't worry, we have all the tools and personnel to deal with these issues during or shortly after the procedure. If you're having any pain, signs of bleeding or infection at home, be sure to call your GI doctor right away. If you have any questions about the procedure, don't hesitate to contact your GI doctor. You can also find information on the Phoenix Children's website in the gastroenterology and GI surgery section. Please remember, highly trained physicians, nurses, and support staff will be with your family every step of the way.